What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I'm Kip, this is Kip Views and today you're in for another sneaker review. Yes, as you can see in the background, we have another Yeezy. We have the Yeezy Knit Runner. Um, this is a crazy sneaker, crazy. First time I've seen it. Um, I know the first pair came out in the US only. Um, that was the Yeezy Knit Runner Stolfer. I was really looking forward to trying to get my hands on that one, but I didn't. And they also done the boot version um, way before they even got this one out here to us. So, I mean, yeah, today we have the Yeezy Knit Runner Stone Carbon. So let's take a little look. Let's see it. sneaker that I've been waiting to see for quite a while um, I know when it dropped in the US I was like oh why don't we get to see that uh, why don't we get to kind of drop it over here and uh, I was really looking forward to it and that was a mad hype and uh, resale was quite crazy on them um, I think it went up to about maybe about 400 pounds at one point so it's it pretty crazy and I was like wow um, but for some reason we didn't seem to get it over in Europe and the UK but nonetheless we have the stone carbon colorway which I actually prefer anyway and um, so yeah we've got that for you today um, but yes, it's going to be a pretty cool review and um, something so different to what we've seen in the past. I know we've kind of had so many different um, kind of details and designs that Yeezy's put out over the last few years. But this, in my kind of, in my opinion, is the craziest to date. So yeah, let's get into it. But before we do so, um, as ever, I will talk you through the design, the detail, um, the colorway, my personal opinion on the sneaker, um, retail if there's a resale on this, and of course the on-feet review at the end. It's so different to anything that I've seen. The only thing that actually comes close to it is the, um, the foam runner. Um, so let's get into it. So here we have it, the Easy Knit Runner Stone Carbon, the second colorway of this particular design. And I mean, as you can see, it is crazy. Um, as you know from pictures, you never really know what the sneaker is gonna look like when it gets to your door. Um, and, and this was another one. I mean, I was so keen to take it out of the box, to have a look, to kind of get a feel from the material, um, to try it on and see what it actually felt like on. Um, and I, I kind of even just looking into it in terms of, did they literally cover a foam runner in knit or what did they do or kind of what was the design, right? So now we know, I mean, looking into this, so what you've got, the outside of the sneaker is predominantly this knit material. So you've got this knit material at the bottom, which I would say is almost like a really dark brown. A really really dark brown and then on the top you have um this kind of this lighter ready type of brown which kind of almost looks like that brick color right it kind of like literally clay brick color um that you can see there and that takes up the top side of the shoe and a little bit at the top just to change it up which i think is clever from easy um and only that's i think it's really really clever in terms of just changing it up kind of taking your eyes to just check out the shoe i mean kind of look at two different colors rather than having a basic color, um, which would kind of make it pretty boring, right? So as, as usual, they do they do like to use a couple of colors and that's what they've done here. In terms of the midsole, there's not really a midsole on this sneaker. Um, it's pretty much an outsole. I mean, as you can see at the back here and underneath, it's pretty much an outsole and that's in black. Um, so you don't really see much of that. The sneaker really is um, the upper and that knit material. Um, to kind of help with the design, they've almost used the two, the changing colors. So this bit here would kind of um, reminisce where the laces would usually go on a sneaker, or the top part of the sneaker, the tongue, for example. Um, and what they've also done, they've added this stitching in here and here, which just gives the sneaker a bit of shape. It pulls it in, gives it a bit of shape, gives it that comfort and kind of snug when it's on, um, and just changes it up. Rather than kind of keeping it basic, they've added a little bit in there um what you can't see is you see this little lip this actually kind of pulls out a little bit there on both sides uh, and i think that's just so it kind of sits in nicely there's a bit of comfort around that area rather than it being flush there's a bit of comfort a little bit extra padding um and it's just a nice finish to the to the sneaker um, and when you put it on in terms of comfort it's a very comfortable sneaker uh, I'll show you here, there's actually padding at the back and a lot of this is padding. So as you can see, I'll just show you in there, you can see a little bit of the padding on there. Um, just the other side, I think you probably can't see. Uh, as you can see inside there, you've got Yeezy as well. And 
what we don't usually see at the bottom of the sleeve guard inside the sole you've got the sizing tag there so yeah in terms of that there's a lot of comfort in terms of inside uh, in the sneaker and a lot of the, the sole is pretty thick and spongy and which just makes it really really comfortable in terms of kind of moving on to sizing so as you know with the phone runner so the us and uk sizing seem to be the same um on this they've gone back to the traditional and kind of what they're doing with adidas and easy at the moment um a half size half size up so you've got uk9 for example would be a us 9.5 and which is pretty cool, very, very different to what you would see. And something I haven't said so far is you've got the US sizing on the side of these. So all of these sneakers have the US sizing, which um, is just very, very different to what we're used to seeing. Um, you never seem to see the sizing on the outside of the sneaker. Um, something you don't get, don't get any branding on the outside. Uh, you kind of know what it is. It's what you see with Yeezy. You pretty much know when you see it, you know it's a Yeezy or Adidas Yeezy. You just have the Adidas logo on the bottom and Adidas Yeezy inside. Um, other than that, on the outside, all you have is that sizing right there, <laughs> and it's very, very different to what you're used to. In terms of how it does fit, um, it fits very, very different to what I'm used to. So I'm a little bit guide, and um, this is a bit small for me. This pair was very, very tight, so it might need a little bit of breaking, and because of the knit, it might break in a little bit. But in terms of sizing, so yeah, I went with um, one size up on Yeezys that I usually do. Um, but what I would say is kind of up on what you would have for example a foam runner and um, this is a little bit tighter so i would go in my personal opinion i'll go half a size up on a foam runner just so you get that comfort it's not too tight um and you get the right size you, you don't want to buy these and kind of they're a bit too tight so for example my size uh, my pad i've got here it's a little bit tight i'm a little bit guided than that but it is what it is but just for you guys if you haven't got your pair yet you're looking to kind of buy aftermarket and uh, just go half a size up from your usual kind of 350 or foam runner sizing um, I do recommend that. Um, in terms of my opinions, I'm not 100% keen on the sneaker. I don't know if it's the colorway or the sneaker in general. Um, it feels very relaxed. If it was like something I would wear at home rather than wearing out, <laughs> I'm not a big, big fan of it. I mean, I love 350s. I love the foam runners. I don't know if I'm a big fan of these. I feel like there's not that much, there's not that much detail going on. Um, and kind of what you're paying for these, you're paying £175, so that was the retail price in the UK, uh, £175, I just feel like it's a little bit overpriced, uh, for something that probably, I personally would be wearing at home, unless they bring out some pretty cool colourway, I don't know, like an all black or a black with a little bit of colour, um, I'm not sold, I'm not exactly sold on this pair, maybe it's a colourway, um, but yeah, not exactly sold, and I would... Do you know, I think they could do a little bit more in terms of adding some more details to the sneaker. I think would make it go a long way um, and just making it such a more popular shoe and just something that a lot more people would want to wear. But again, it's only my opinion. But yeah, just feel like um, the price you're paying, the detail on it, the design, there's not a lot there. Um, and it's a little bit overpriced um, in between. I know you've got a kind of, there's a lot of padding inside the material. It's kind of a, a lot more expensive to make probably than the foam runner. But I just think a hundred pound between the kind of hundred or so pound between the phone runner and this knit runner, um, I think is a lot. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think on that. But nonetheless, I'm sure they will bring out some cool colorways that we really do like. I've seen pictures surfing up on the internet, kind of left, right, and center. So surfacing, sorry. So let, let's see what we find, right? Let's see what comes out in a few next few months. I think now that this is dropped, I'm sure many more colorways will hit the UK, Europe, and US, and Asia. Um, and around the world so so let's see see what we find um but yeah so there's my opinion on the sneaker um and keen to hit keen to hear your thoughts in the comments box too so i mean there we have it that's kind of what i think and finally before we do go on to the on for review as i'm sure you guys will be looking forward to see uh try to get a few good angles for you guys today so so let me know what you guys think but before we get into that there's also the resale element so i know some of you guys may look to resell this or people look to kind of collect and at some point they may look to pass on for their next pair of sneakers or whatever reason it may be um i know a lot of people look to do it so and there is a massive resale market for sneakers these days you're looking at about 200 to 250 pounds on these um i know for example in this size nine you're looking at about 230 pounds um if you get to the lower sizes uk seven six for example you're looking at about 200 pounds and as you go up towards kind of 10 11 12 you're looking at about the 250 260 pounds mark so there definitely is a resale market on these 
Um, I know the Soulfar colorway actually sold for, as I said before, they'll go for about 400 before, they're now going for about three to 350. So definitely a mark for these that may be more because they were the first colorway coming out um, and people were collecting those. But in terms of this one, I think, I personally think it's a better colorway, albeit not my favorite sneaker going. Um, and there could be a market for this going forward. I don't see that there will be a lot of these released. I don't think they'll be re-released. Um, I know that only Adidas or Confirmed drop these. So no other sites, no other kind of retail outlets in the UK drop these as far as I'm aware or to date so far. So hype could kind of take this higher and higher and higher and it may increase going forward. So yeah, definitely one I wouldn't mind sitting on it if you want to kind of take care, kind of think about it, see if it's something that you want to keep, you don't want to keep um, before you wear it. So kind of think about it, but I don't see you not being able to get your money going forward um, for this sneaker. I think it's definitely unique. There's not many colorways in it. I don't think they released too many pairs and it was only dropped on Adidas and confirmed. So yeah, like I said, um, I think it's definitely one you could definitely get your money back out of if you kind of hold it and it doesn't hit those marks. But for now, a little bit of resale to be made and I don't see why you wouldn't hold it for the future if you're into that. So before we go forward, let's now check out the on-feet review. Let's see it.